The famed Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show is next month. You'll be seeing some changes in the 137th annual competition. The club's David Fry joins us now. Welcome. Thank you. Good so, morning. So you're announcing new breeds? Two new breeds this year. It gives us 187 breeds and varieties. What are these new breeds? <laughs> yeah. Well, I understand you have seen brought them. some. We here. have some new, yes. some new members of your cast for today. Yes. Okay. Like the it. Treeing Walker Coonhound is one of them in the hound group. On and the left hand side. That's on the left hand tank. side. And then on the right hand what side. What are their names, David? Wait, this, what are their uh, names? Meg and Tank. Okay. And there we have our little Russell Terriers that are, for the first time, uh, coming to Westminster. You know, we say new breeds all the time, but it didn't, they're not really new breeds. They've been around for a while. It just took them a while to get recognized by what, the AKC. What's the criteria to determine what makes a new breed that's worthy enough to join the show? Well, the American Kennel Club has three basic rules. One is that there would be enough of them in this country, mm -hmm. that they have a good geographic distribution, and that they have a parent club that's sort of watching over them and making sure that they're going about their business the I right way. I want to talk about this dog. This is the Treeing Walker Coon Hound, and it's a relative of an English Foxhound, but how does it get its name? Well, treeing is because that's what it does to its prey. The, the raccoons, they chase <laughs> raccoons. <laughs> he knows you're talking about yeah. him. <laughs> he, uh, they chase raccoons up a tree and, and for the hunters. The walker part of it is named after the walker family. They had a role in developing the breed, and the coon hound, they were raccoon hunters. Just what does it take to win? Uh, yeah. Well, first of all, they got to be a great specimen of their own breed. But secondly, I think it, it, it comes down to showmanship at the very end. We'll have seven great dogs, the group winners standing in the ring at the end. And one of them has got to have the right kind of charisma, personality, showmanship, whatever you want to call it, on the ground they stand over and, and to be best in show at Westminster. What's the difference between winners who are female and winners who are male? Well, How many? Just, how many? It's yeah. about two to one males to one, over really? females. Two to yeah. one male. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> I don't like that part. Well, you know, the females, they, they, we need to get them into the breeding program. Dog shows are about identifying superior breeding stock for the next healthy, happy generations. So the females have to kind of drop out of the show world. The males could still be helping reproduce some without uh, having to drop out. Is how, does your, how, does, how does your life change when you're a champion? Is it like an Oscar winner with a script start pouring in? No Do question. they start getting special requests? The winner becomes America's dog for the next year. You know, we go on a world media tour the next then, day where we come in. This year, what happens? Well, then they, we were bringing three of them back this year for a charity event. Yes. Um, Uno and Malachi and Hickory, the three of our previous winners, are going to be in town. But mostly they're just uh, living their life out at the farm or wherever they are in their family homes having a great time. This is a one answer question. Uh, what's the breed that's won most often? The Wire Fox Terrier. There you go. Yeah. All right, Terriers David. dominate our show. And, yeah. Great dogs. David Fry, good to see you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you. Thanks for having us.